Hello and welcome to the Virtual Groom Room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I using today? My soap is from one of my favourite companies, as you guys would know, is Talbot Shaving. And this is Chittenango Creek. Um, this is a cool soap in both concept and scent. Um, for anyone that knows the company Talbot, generally what they do is, uh, I believe their aim is to, I guess, donate a certain amount of money per soap sold to a charity. It's often a certain charity, and forgive me, I've actually forgotten what that is, but this time around they've done something cool. Um, and there's, it, it reads pretty much, uh, and I'll, ex I'll explain now. So if you see the color of this jar, for the most part, ignore that, it's black and yellow. Black and yellow is the color of the PTSD ribbon for uh, American army veterans. While I'm not American, uh, I've, I've had some family in the army, in the British army, and uh, I wouldn't say it means a lot to me, but it definitely means something. I think doing something of that nature is pretty admirable. Um, most soap makers don't need to do that and they get a lot of praise for what they do. He does a fantastic job with both of his soaps and the causes behind the soaps. Um, the project that is that this soap goes towards is, I think it's called the Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing. Um, it's pretty much the, the act of rehabilitating these guys through doing something that everyone loves, fishing. You know, these guys go out fishing. Uh, it, I've, that makes me think it's a charity run project, which is fantastic. And because of that, because of the whole fly fishing aspect, the scent of this is kind of tied with that. So the scent is aquatic, it's earthy, there's some lavender and there's some cedar. It's a really nicely blended scent, like all of his scents. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's earthy, it's aquatic. This is a really nice scent and a great scent, great company for an admirable cause. Why on earth are you not using Talbot shaving? Um, another reason to use Talbot shaving is the matching splash. Now, on this channel for a while, you know how much I've enjoyed male grooming products. Male grooming are now the primary splash makers for Talbot. There's absolutely no reason not to use this stuff. I personally believe this is the best and most well-rounded kind of set you can buy in terms of how good the soap is and how good the aftershave is. It's not gonna break the bank either, like some of the other vendors. I'm gonna kind of save who I believe that is, but fantastic calls, fantastic company, really well thought out scents and labels, absolutely fantastic. That's gonna be my soap for today. My razor is something you have seen on the channel, but only briefly, and this is the Carf Shaving Co. Christopher Bradley in aluminium. Um, as you can see, the handle on this is actually in the Argyle handle design, I believe. Actually, no, this is the galoshed pattern. I should probably know this. So this is the standard galoshed pattern. And the reason being is because uh, these razors were actually around before the stainless steel razors were ever made. Um, I'll kind of go over the kind of production and stuff of that in a minute, but uh, our brush today, one of our last visits on the channel for a while. And this is the uh, Turn and Shave, that Don Rob brush. I really like this brush. It's been breaking in really, really nicely, and I'm gonna be shaving with that today. So let me go away, kind of prep my face, load the brush, and I'll see you guys for lathering up. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's get the uh, loose soap from the puck and apply that to the face, and then we'll get to lathering. I like myself a good aquatic scent, and this definitely falls under that. He, I, I would actually say uh, Talbot is what up there with my favorite artisans. I have quite a lot of stuff from them, mainly due to the fact that, like I said in the intro, kind of quality soap for quality calls, you know, consistently. And uh, his scents are extremely unique as well in my experience. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty massive load here. Got hair that's come out. That's the first hair from this brush. Okay, let's start get to lathering. So, this for me, along with A&E, Declaration Grooming, 
Barrister in Man and probably Holy Cow are is the best. Um, this is amongst the best soap bases in the industry for me uh, in terms of kind of just general post-shave, residual and general slickness. It's just incredible. Um, something that I think is fairly unique is this is easier to dial in than all of the previous ones I mentioned, which makes it for me definitely one of my favorites. Um, that coupled with the fantastic scents just the only downside to this is they only sell them in three ounce jars. I'm not particularly sure why that is, but it could be due to making it cheaper, like uh, Teller and Still have recently done with the Yakushima release. Let's spray the brush here. So the scent of this, as I said, is Predominantly, the first notes I get is aquatic notes and aquatic scents tend to be my favorite or among some of my favorites. The addition of the cedar makes it extremely fresh to me. I've smelt some pretty bad cedar scents. The cedar note in this is really complemented by the rest of the soap all complemented by the rest of the notes. So, I mean, I don't think cedar is particularly something to have on its own. However, it's a good complement to any scent. This, on the other hand, I think you've got like the floral, the kind of earthy scents as well. Again, it's supposed to kind of uh, embody what it's like to be fly fishing on the banks of a river. And I think it does a fantastic job. I think the lav lavender is more specific to the area it's based off of. As you can see, this stuff just bursts into life. I can still add quite a lot of water to this. I have a decent amount of experience with this soap base, so that is almost certainly the plan. I can feel some soap lingering behind my ear, so let's get that. This, uh, this knot, this V2 tip, has uh, really progressed pretty well. So he has two type of tip knots. He has the fan and he has the bulb. Um, according to Milton, the the fan splays a bit better. The bulb has slightly better backbone. I went with the fan because I I have the V1 in tip knot in bulb. So I wanted to try what the fan was like and it's a very, very good brush. So for anyone that wants a custom brush, I can personally recommend you Milton from Turn and Shave. He's fantastic to deal with it, as I've said before. So all we're gonna do now is just sprinkle the water on. I kind of have the uh, consistency I want here, so we're just gonna get to gradually adding water through painting as opposed to splaying the brush. The scent really is lovely. Um, when it first came in, I wasn't a huge fan of it, being entirely honest, but it really, really grew on me. I haven't used this yet, but occasionally, because I have so many soaps, I just like to smell. <laughs> I just randomly grab them and smell them, and this this one has grown on me. It's actually, it's very, very nice once lathered up. Um, yeah, I, I can't really complain about anything Talbot does. I mean, just, it, it takes water really well. But here's the thing, if you're one of the guys that like a slightly drier lather, it's almost definitely usable there as well, so yeah, it's really good. It really is very good. So, uh, how have you guys been doing? I've been doing pretty well. Uh, I'm actually up, off to Edmonton next week. Uh, kind of working with Carve, going through a few things. I can assure you, kind of all the people that have come here from Carve, uh, we're working on some really good stuff. A lot of it is a work in progress at the moment, but I can assure you that um, we're really excited about some of the stuff we're working on. See, I could, I could probably keep going with this. Um, in fact, I think I will slightly because, you know, why not? I mean, a wet allows is slightly better anyway.
Yeah, I think I'm good here, so let's get to shaving. Just, yeah, just amazing. Very, very easy to work with. The hydration band on it is huge, but not entirely necessary. I've personally found with a basis like Excelsior, once you dial it in, it's just incredible. But uh, if you don't dial it in, it doesn't perform as adequately with this. It's a bit more versatile in my honest opinion. Okay, so aluminum Christopher Bradley or aluminum, however you want to say it, completely up to you. Um, this is with the B plate and in here I've got a Bosch card. So we'll see how it works. A Milo blade with a pretty light razor. See, I've been using this razor for a long time, or a while, at the very least. Most of my shaves have been with this. And the... The muscle memory with this razor is based on a pretty heavy build. And uh, this does not have a heavy build, so... It's kind of odd to me. The finish is very nice. Um, any nature of anodizing is with any rough rough use, the anodizing has a potential to wear away. So be aware of that. So I would generally recommend um, using the washer. The scent of this is just wonderful. Performance is phenomenal as well. That's really slick. This is a lot lighter than the original, so I'd say the brass is slightly heavier than the stainless, and uh, the stainless is a lot heavier than this. It's just a pleasure to shave with like all of the card stuff. And I had that opinion before I started working with them, as you guys would know. Man, that's a good shave. Great, great soap. Very good razor. Can't really ask for more. Let me rinse the face and we'll lather up again. The scent, um, the scent really does linger in a nice way. Fantastic, lots of residual slickness left, which is what exactly what you want. And the good thing is because I didn't take it all the way, I can still add water to this. And the lather will just erupt again. If it doesn't erupt just by splaying, to be honest, because there's still a lot of soap in here. Dip. Dip once more, see what we can do. Yep, fantastic. Very nice shave. Very nice, okay, so let's uh, clean up a bit. And uh, we'll get to our second and probably final pass, to see if I need any pickups. Let's go cross grain here.
the soap is so slick to the point where it's difficult to actually hold because it just slides. So yeah, the, uh, so let's go over the manufacturing process of this, shall we? So, like I said, this razor was around before the uh, the brass, well, the stainless razor was around. But, the stainless was made priority, I think because it was the, the thing that was being asked for more by the customer base. So that was expedited when the, the aluminum was always around. But it was a case of waiting for the right time to, uh, to, I guess, release it, and that was a couple of weeks ago. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of aluminum stuff or aluminum stuff, mainly due to the fact that I like weight. Um, the shave so well that it doesn't make a difference for me. If you want a razor, a light razor, maybe to travel with or something of that nature, uh, a head shaver even, something that you don't need to hold up, which is really heavy all the time. This is a very good option for that, I think. So the weight on this, I'll be honest, makes it really nice for buffing. So I'm gonna kind of go over the neck again a little bit and then uh, we're good to go, I think. Very nice, I'm happy with that. Clean off the razor a bit. Um, I think we will release some stands for these eventually, but as, it's, as it stands, we don't have any. Lots of soap in the brush here, as you can see. Really thick. Wonderful scent. Something that kind of using a face wash like this does as well, is it makes the scent linger around a bit longer. I have a goatee as well, so I uh, get it in there. It's kind of like a beard conditioner almost. Okay, so um, like always guys, I'm gonna wash off my gear and uh, wash my face off of course, and I'll see you guys for the post shave. I'll be right back. Okay guys, it's uh, post shave time here. That was a really good shave. I mean, I, I, I could easily not use a post shave, but I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't <laughs> if uh, male grooming is the aftershave. So let's get a good shake on this. Don't need too much of this stuff, as I've said before. We're good about there. The smell of this is so potent. Wonderful. Really, really nice. Okay, I think that's our shave today, guys. That was a great shave. Um, let's go over all the products I used and uh, close it out. So we have Chittenango Creek 
from Talbot Shaving. Fantastic soap, fantastic cl claws. Fantastic soap, fantastic claws. Try and get your ha try and get your hands on one of their soaps. Um, they have a release coming up this Sunday, I believe. It's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. So if you get the chance, I'd really get on it. My razor. This is the aluminum, aluminium carved Christopher Bradley razor with the uh, red and black colorway. Um, our aim is to release some more colors of this. In fact, the next batch we do will probably be released in multiple types of colors, so look out for that. My brush for today was the Turn and Shave slash Slat Darn Rob V2, V3 tip knot with the Goblet of Fire handle. Really, really nice brush. They both do fantastic work and it shows consistently. And my aftershave today was my favorite aftershave vendor in collaboration with Talbot Shaving. This is Mel Grooming and this is the matching slash to the soap. What a great shave that was. Like always, the people upstairs are flushing their toilet when I'm trying to speak. Um, apart from that, this shave has been fantastic. I hope you guys have a good remainder of your week. It's Thursday today, one more day till the weekend and you guys can do it. My name is Jack, your host on the Virtual Grim Room. Goodbye for now.